Yeah, we'll, we'll do two. They seem to heal for like approximately 25%. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, there's the irrigation zone we finished before. Might might follow the water downstream. What are you? You look interesting. Multiple bowls of water. Tapestry? Will it render something if I complete what what's around it? Um, oh, it's the, it's the cup game. I've played this, as, like, a, in a lot of different things now. Basically, this thing has a storage of eight. This thing has a storage of eight, that has a storage of five, that has a storage of three. I need to get this thing to have exactly four, because of where the bar is. Oh god, it's this game again. Okay. You definitely see certain things reappear from game to game. And so by... I clicked on the top pot and it hit right, which made the top one drain into the right one. Okay. It doesn't seem to use any energy when I do this, right? I can just use whatever I want. We need to get to four. How many units are there total? There are eight total. I need to get down to four. If you take a thing of five and put it into the three, you get two left over. I'm wondering if that's useful. Now we have three, three, and two. I believe so. I'm really bad at these for some reason. Um, and how do I turn that into something usable? I'm not going to get attacked in the middle of this, am I? That'd be a bummer. You know, for a puzzle game, for a game advertised as being a puzzle game, we're not really heavy into puzzles that are, like, made up for this game, are we? Because I, I played Lights Out earlier, and now I'm playing the cup game that I don't know I don't, I don't know the name for, but if I have to refer to it enough times over a dozen different puzzle games like I did Lights Out, I'll finally look up what it was called. <laughs> Looking at this, the first thing that comes to mind is that 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 going into a 5 would leave 1, and then 1 plus 3 would be 4. So I think I can make it so that... First we want to drain the main one completely. Then I want to put three in the main one twice. Now we have six. So when I put that in there, that'll be... F that'll put five in there. Leaving one in there, which means if I make this three again, and put that in, it'll be four. There we go.
There you go. I'm glad there's more puzzles scattered around, but I'm- it's it's, uh... It's interesting that a game that advertises itself as a puzzle game treats a lot of its puzzles as being, like, the op the optional content, as opposed to the main thing. Unless... I don't know, maybe there'll be, like, multiple endings. Maybe there's a good ending and a bad ending, and if you get all the shards, that's the good ending, and so the puzzles are mandatory for getting the good... ending or something. I'll try to find them all. I'm not sure if there's a built-in system for figuring out where you might be missing one, but we'll see. Kind of curious about what, uh, following the water flow. We did- we went through all the work of, uh, making sure it drains through here. So it goes through this pipe. Oh yeah, that just becomes this river. I guess there's not much more to go for then. We've looked around there a bit. And I'm pretty sure this is the hole we came out of that one time. But I can double check real quick. Oh yeah, that's familiar. Okay, so next I want to go south then. We've made it this far, and we've kind of poked around... ...some of this that might be the sunken ruins from before. But we've never reached the southern bank. So I'll see what kind of stuff stashed around there. I will say I'm a bit disappointed in the puzzle so far. We'll see if, I, if it picks up at the very end and if anything really interesting shows up, but, uh... We did Lights Out again, we played the cup game again, or the water game, or I, I don't know what to call it, but I'm sure it has a name and I'll probably figure it out. Or maybe you will in the comments. <laughs> we haven't done a, t a sliding tile puzzle yet, which I really hope doesn't show up. Because that's... I hate the sliding tile puzzle game so much. No, oh, There's a hole over there. Seems like I can go around without taking a hit, though. Oh! What? Oh, this is its own separate thing. Am I making them all glow over here when I find them? I think so. I think there was one on top of the actual plaque. Might have to do a little bit of interesting platforming there. It's a minor thing, and it doesn't come up in any games ever, really, but... Whenever I swim around in first person, I find myself wishing that you had, like, a button that would dive, and that the game would otherwise make you stay on the surface unless you press the dive button. Just because when you're looking around in first person, it's kind of a weird feeling to be like looking, like kind of like staring at the so the ceiling in order to keep yourself from diving underwater, because your character's trying to go in first person. And so if you if you want if you're trying to like for example stay above water but like look down to see if you're swimming by anything, that just makes you swim underwater in every first person game. I always find myself hoping for an alternative that no one seems to make, but all the third person games have it. Every third person game has you. uh... You swim on the surface with the joystick, and then you press a button to stop, uh, to dive. So it seems like the moment you leave the immediate area, area, you stop seeing the shines.
I'm still clinging to the idea that maybe lighting these up makes them go away, the bat, the uh, monster. But it also helps me keep track of where I've been a little bit. Wonder how many I'm missing? Oh. Oh, I was picking them up and then I placed them in. I totally thought that was indicating how far I've come so far. Whoops. So the monster came out of the tree and attacked them? This seems to indicate what I thought was happening. Because this guy looks a lot like the guy with the skull. He seems to be the scientist that like discovered this stuff in the first place, and he seems to be—he might seems like he is the ghost that's attacking. Something happened with him. I was totally thinking that I was going around and clicking on those things, and then they were going to light up here automatically, but they were going in my inventory. But normally, when that happens, the game is all like, "You have this many. You're holding right now," and it wasn't doing that. So I thought it was—I thought I was snuffing them out and making them light up there. So we have that one now. It takes us to what, five? We have like six to go, I think, is the running total. I don't think this really led us anywhere, did it? Oh, weird, there's a little chunk. Oh, it's a, there we go. Seeing the hole in the wall seems so significant, I'm like, there's got to be something around here. That shows them designing the doors, and there- yeah, there's Skull Guy. The guy with the skull on his tabard. He's- he seems to be the one... That's in the silhouette. That seems to be why they gave him the, uh, the Plague Doctor mask. So that he'd be recognizable in silhouette even without his tabard being there. Six. So five to go. Geronimo? Oop. That, yep, that hurt. That'll teach me to attempt moderate jumps. Was that him? Am I being hunted? What is that sound? You hear wildlife constantly, but you don't see it. Sounds are getting creepy, and the screen's getting so dense with dust that I can't really tell where I'm going. Do I use... okay. What do you... what? What? Okay. I don't see like a second one around. So that's what opens when I solve it. I think it's just the one orb. And it just rolls off the table.
And I don't think it's drawn anywhere. I think it just follows gravity. They always land in the middle like that? Maybe you have to be here at night? I think you have to be here at a specific time of night. Judging by this setup with like the sun, the moon and the stars. Maybe when I when maybe when I come here when the sun goes down, I can do it. Let's keep exploring, check out other stuff. And I'll try to come back at night or I can set it tonight myself. But uh let's go see what else I can find. There's a river crossing. Ah, we're over here now. Yeah, you can see that that's the... That's what that tablet in the middle there is, is the, uh... The crescent moon icon, surrounded by the, the pillars. So that's where we are now. There's suddenly a river nearby, because we're above... The, we're actually above the falls now, instead of being just at a jagged cliff. It means I can actually cross that river, maybe. If the game lets me. Although I don't see a... I'm not sure if I see a spot I can climb over there. Yeah, he came, out, he came out, he attacked everyone. They all seem to be sick and even aged. They all suddenly have those lines on their face that seems to indicate that they're older. I don't think we're fixing that one. And this is the structure we found before. We already opened that one. I think, yeah, this is the other primary thing we see on the map. Oh, look at these. Oh yeah, we're doing these. We have to make the lines line up. Okay. Wait, can I not change the bottom part? Okay, so this is the line that matters. Then it goes up through here. Oh, the entire top is one piece. Okay, then we'll try you. Those are like the two options, aren't they? Maybe it has to be powered on, or... Um... Let's watch... Follow it around again, I guess. Wait, it kind of looks like the same line again, doesn't it? Like, it starts there. Zigzags around here. It looks identical, almost. Like, how many solutions can there be? It's lined up. Do, 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 do. Is there a secret to, like, powering you, or... Do they all have to be right at the same time? They all, they all look the same, almost. No, they look the same, like, genuinely, actually. Is that the issue that they have to all be right at the same time? And there's just no feedback along the way to see that you're getting closer?
But it was that one, right? Yeah, that's that leads to the solution there. No, that's the wrong one, though. Because that's the right one, right? Yeah. Double check I did this one right. Because I kind of switched back and forth a little bit, I think. I think I was like, well, that's not reacting to me. Let's try switching it back. That leads to the top. Okay. Yeah, let's just assume it doesn't tell you you're right until the whole thing's solved. That's not it. That's the right one, but did I link it up to the right bottom one? Because I might have gotten turned around. We're good there. Really just you now. So they're not quite identical, it's just a lot of them go left first, then zigzag in like the same way that made me think we were doing the exact same line over and over again. I mean, you can't be the answer because you're already selected. Or was it the answer? Okay, everything seems right now. Um... <laughs> Throw a save down here so I can refer to it later. Uh... I don't know. Like, I, I don't... I'm not sure what they want from me? Does the sun have to be straight up, maybe? Because it kind of looks like a sun. Like a central thing with radiating lightness, and maybe they're solar-powered. So maybe... Maybe this is a, a nighttime one, that's a daylight one, and I have to come back to each of them during the time of day where they work crop properly or something? Like, I could kind of buy into that idea. Maybe I need to change the time of day so it's not like some sort of weird, like, golden hour where it's like... Non-stop sun... Uh, Non-stop non god, god rays coming through the uh, forest. Floor is changing colors? Oh, that's my... That's like the dust I'm kicking up. I'd like to think the lighting all these things is doing something, but I don't have a lot to go on yet. Haven't been attacked lately. Maybe I defeated him by being upstairs from him that one time. Oh, there's no shard in there. That takes us back to the market. We are basically wandering in circles in the in the woods right now, but I uh, I don't want to miss out on anything important. There was that one cliff I saw. Until the game crashed, uh, there was that cliff in that general direction. We should probably recheck out. Uh oh, time to run. Spooky ghost monsters happening. Hey, a shard. Can I hide inside the ruins and they can't get me?
Did I escape him? The game's doing spooky sounds. Oh! He might still be coming. The game, like, is... Uh. Oh, it's back. It's back. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe I can outrun him or something? Okay, bye. Oh. It kind of sounds like the music just calmed down. I believe we've seen that one before. Ah. And that's where I showed up again when he attacked me. Right, because that's just the central area. If I'm right, this should lead us back towards the direction where we found the, um... I think this leads me us back to the, the map area? Like, the original area? Right, that's... and that's where we found the builder icon. So yeah, over there would lead me back to the original spot. Because that's what... that leads you to the builder thing, and then somewhere over there we'd get to the map. Something like that. There's a whole tree area here. The whole hill kind of looks different, doesn't it? I thought we might find something. Oh. That boat's a different spot, because this is the tree house. That was- oh yeah, the over, that area over there was the dock that I originally saw when I looked across. So what's the deal with this overhang? Have I been here yet? It's one of those guys. It's just a diagram of them hunting. They're in a circle. I think it's just an old structure. With not so much waiting for me to do anything. I think this is what we saw from above that cliff before. Oh yeah, and it's totally a cleansable spot. Get in there quickly. There we go. And back out. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Oh, no. Are we back now? There we go. Not the happiest sounds. The bubbling in the background. Yeah, those are bellows. No. Stop trying to murder me, game. I just want to have a nice, leisurely stroll where I, where I solve all your puzzles. You don't need to try to kill me every five seconds. So now I think we're a lot closer to having basically been everywhere. Which is concerning because I don't think I have them all yet. I think I have like seven and I need like more than that. I think if I solve the two puzzles we're still missing, that'll take me like nine. Which still leaves a couple remaining, so there's gotta be some... ...hidden nooks and crannies to still use... ...to explore. 
I'm gonna go turn what I have in right now. Then I'm gonna try test my theory of going to the the moon thing at night and see if the if the puzzle changes dramatically. Puzzles aside, they could be hidden like in all sorts of little minor spots. And I may need to finish the I may need to finish the uh, the fish puzzle before I can finish because there might be a there might be some in the fish area. That might account for like the last two or so, I'm not sure about, but it does not account for... It does not account for the ones that I, uh, are likely inside the two puzzles I haven't solved yet. 